All right, there's a twist in the tale. Khalistani link emerges after Indian envoy was stopped from visiting Gurudwara Panja Sahib in Pakistan's Hassan Abdal. Sources have revealed that Khalistani elements in the Gurudwara that are trying to indoctrinate and influence the Indian pilgrims are behind the action against the Indian envoy. Khalistanis in the Gurudwara in Pakistan have a free hand in the affairs of the holy site. So clearly there is a much bigger twist to the entire diplomatic standoff or one could say this entire mistreatment which has happened with the Indian envoy. Now sources have indicated that the Khalistani supporters uh, were behind the cancellation of uh, the Indian envoy being denied entry to the Gurudwara despite him having all sorts of permissions in place. Let me just uh, cut across to my colleague Geeta Mohan who joins us uh, live on the story. Geeta, now there are much deeper angles to the story. Uh, give us more perspective. What was the sense uh, within the authorities? There are Khalistani terrorists or Khalistan supporters which are inside that Gurudwara and help us understand this entire uh, event which has unfolded. Well, Anusha, uh, we are seeing that in the recent past, after a long haul of no uh, no no incidents of ill treatment, we are seeing that uh, the the incidents and ill treatment and mistreatment of uh, Indian diplomats in Pakistan has hmm. begun all over again. Uh, not so long ago, our Indian air attaché was stopped and held up for some time, and now the Indian High Commission uh, Commissioner Anusha uh, was uh, allowed to go to the Gurudwara Panja Sahib, and then having reached the site he then was disallowed from entering the Gurudwara. What we're given to understand and the larger perspective to this entire story is that this is happening second time in three months. Mm. The first time around also Ajay Bissarya had gone to uh, or intended to go to uh, the Gurudwara to meet with Indian pilgrims and uh, he, they were not allowed to do that. These Indian pilgrims who go to the Gurudwara are, uh, are in touch with and the organizers of uh, the Gurudwara uh, Panja Sahib committee are, uh, are people who are known to be uh, supporters of the Khalistani movement right. uh, and uh, and we've seen them in pictures with Hafiz Saeed. Last time around when we did the story, Anusha, there were pictures of the man who uh, handles the committee and his pictures with Hafiz Saeed and uh, Maki really goes to show the kind of uh, connections that the Gurdwara committee mm. in Pakistan has with elements, terror elements and right. anti-India elements. Uh, these Khalistani elements also try to indoctrinate, speak to, reach out to the Indian pilgrims and this is the reason why one of the main reasons why Indian officials are not allowed to meet them right Hamza also joins us for more on the story Hamza as Geeta points out that there is a larger nexus of the Pakistani authorities with the anti-India elements the Khalistani elements and that is one of the probable reasons the prime reasons why the Indian diplomats were not allowed the entry well, it seems that way because, see, recently when it all happened, Ajay Basaria, the Indian High Commissioner, wanted to go uh, to meet the Sikh uh, Yatri who were here in Pakistan for their rit rituals, and he was not allowed to do so. Now, uh, sources, uh, the diplomatic sources have actually confirmed that uh, Ajay Basaria was not alone. He was with his wife and also three other diplomats from the Indian High Commission hmm. who went, uh, who had the permission uh, for initially taken from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs before that. Uh, they actually had applied for that and they say when it came through as a positive not from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs Pakistan that yeah. was when that they had initiated their travel and upon reaching to Panja Sahib uh, they were not allowed inside they were told they could not go inside and uh, even in the past when it uh, happened before uh, they were actually on their way uh, to the Gurdwara uh, to meet the Sikh Yathris back then and they were told that they will not be allowed to go inside now it seems that uh, there is a resistance as Pakistan maintained in the past that there, there was there were people among the Sikhyatis who did not want to meet or even wanted to see their the Indian High Commissioner's presence in them. And that is why it was a security concern. I think this time around as well, Pakistan has given the same reason on quote unquote saying security reasons. Right. Uh, but as, as it is an understood protocol, when there's a travel permission given uh, by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, it, it certainly caters and covers the security protocols as well. So if that was not in place, then certainly the travel permission should not have come. But as it has done, it actually exposes a more broader uh, you know, version of, uh, of uh, an out outburst against each other between Pakistan and India on right. the diplomatic front. We've heard 
cases of harassment on both sides. We've heard diplomats being harassed in the in, in Islamabad. Uh, the Indian High Commission uh, diplomats have been harassed. They have complained on that. And I think this is the same chain that is being taken forward in Pakistan as well. Right, Hamza, stay on with us. Tariq Peerzada, uh, an analyst and scholar from Pakistan, also joins us on the broadcast. Mr. Peerzada, uh, the Indian envoy, and especially the diplomat, is not allowed in entry. Then the Khalistani link emerges. Now, should this be seen as a blatant uh, incident out there, an admission out there of anti-India elements being openly supported at religious shrines in the state of Pakistan? Well, you know, basically the government of India and the people of India should be grateful to the government of Pakistan. There was a violent reaction from the Sikhs, you know, in and around the Gurdwara, they were all opposed to the Indian policy and they didn't appreciate the presence and the coming of the Indian High, High Commissioner to Gurdwara. So it was for the sake of uh, affording protection to the person and the, and the office and, and the position of the, the High Commissioner of India that he was advised not to go in and it should be seen as a sign of uh, actually, amelioration of um, uh, improvement of relations instead of uh, being seen as, as a ploy by Pakistan uh, to, uh, to, uh, to... But Mr. Pirzada, he wasn't advised not to go inside. He was denied the entry and there's a difference there. At the same time, the authorities were, uh, should have been well aware of the sort of security threats that could come in the way if a Indian official, a high-ranking official, diplomatic official visits uh, the Gurudwara. Well, I understand the point that you are raising, but I also watched the news in detail. I saw his face, he was standing outside the Gurdwara, and uh, it was at that time when he, uh, you know, was faced with opposition from the Sikhs uh, who were opposed, pro, who were either pro Khalistan movement fellows or who were opposed to the Indian government. Right. You know how the Sikhs are opposed to the Indian government. So, uh, High Commissioner represents the government of India, and it is our legal duty. To, uh, to protect the person and the offer and the position of the High Commissioner of India. It is our diplomatic duty, legal duty, and we yeah. do it. We should be grateful to Pakistan. <laughs> Mr. Pizada, thank you so much for sharing your views. Well, we're not really sure if we are grateful to Pakistan for that. But clearly, after getting all sorts of permissions in place, a high-ranking Indian envoy is denied the permission. The reason cited is, quote-unquote, the security uh, reason. The standoff and the mistreatment continues at the hand of the Pakistani authorities of senior diplomatic officials. Thank you so much for joining us and giving us your views. Thanks for watching the video. For more such news and updates, please like, share and subscribe to India Today. Also check out our other great videos from our channel. We know you would love to.